Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and this is the 10th video in a series on how to build a WordPress website using breakdowns. Today, we're gonna to be going over pop-ups, which are really useful if you want to display or obstruct the user's view and be like, hey, you know, sign up for our newsletter or really whatever you really want. So to do this really simple, head over to our breakdowns and breakdown settings and go into pop-ups. In our pop-ups page, add a pop-up and let's call this newsletter collection form. We're gonna apply this pop-up to only show on our post page. Um, yeah, on our post page, which is gonna be when blogs are a thing. We can add conditions like doing it on certain posts, but hey, we want this on all of our posts. Another big one is adding a trigger, which is when are we gonna show this pop-up? I like to say after a few seconds, so after the user is inactive for about five seconds, hey, let's bring this up and let's show them what, what we want, basically. Uh, we can also limit how many times we want the pop-up to show. I would recommend kind of limiting it um, per session one, per page load. I'm just gonna do per session one. If they close it, they don't wanna see it again. And I wouldn't really do forever because who knows you know, what happens down the line. Um, we could also not show this pop-up if another pop-up is shown. Like if you are giving coupons or something uh, and you have a pop-up say, hey, here's 10% off. But this one is just for a simple newsletter. So I'm going to add it. Again, the way this works is like every other template in Breakdance, uh, we have it only applying to our single posts on an activity, but let's go ahead and edit this in Breakdance. So this works a little different than anything else we've ever made before. I'm not going to add something um, like normal. We're gonna start by adding a pop-up, which is this window. And in here, this kind of dims the background and we'll bring up this box. I believe there's a section in here or the pop-up itself might be, oops. <laughs> Can't move the pop-up inside the pop-up. Okay, once we are in our pop-up, we're gonna start by adding a nice border to these three sides. We can click on this and add a one rem border to each side, except for the top right, because we have the close button here. So inside of our pop-up, we will add two columns. We will add a bigger section and a smaller section. Again, completely up to you what you wanna do. And I'm gonna set the background of this to be an image of our beautiful Miami skyline or I don't really know what this is but um <laughs> yeah and then inside of here we are going to add a form builder just like we did before go ahead and customize that to however you want if we're just looking to do a newsletter I'm probably not going to need their name and message I'm just going to need an email which it looks a little off right now so if we click on column we can go to layout and vertically align it now it's in the center and let's add some text over here that says you know hey let's sign up for news and go ahead and change the typography to make it stand out. Is this good? Nope, because we need this background to be uh, to have an overlay. So click on the column, go into overlay, change the color to whatever you'd like, and then change the opacity to be as you wish. So you can say sign up for news. If we do want this to be centered, go and change it centered and centered, and really kind of customize this how you want. This is pretty boring, but this is going to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's hop into a blog. Oops, let's hop into, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and now let's hop into a blog. When we view one of our blogs, I'm not gonna to touch anything. We'll give it five seconds and then it should fade in perfectly and show us our pop-up, just like that. Okay, so again, kind of boring, but hey, it works. You could type in your email, submit it, and it'll say your message has been received. Go ahead and close this and you can see the rest of our blog. It's going to collect this in our form settings like before, where we have a different contact form now. This is going to be the one on the pop-up. This is the one from our contact page. If we go into the pop-up once again, we can customize the actual pop-up options. If it lets me click on this, um, these pop-up options are going to be all of these. So we can allow scroll, disable overlays, pop up. We've got all of these settings. We also have an animation that we could do. I like to add a fade in animation that will last like that. And then I will add a fade out animation. So again, going to be quick, but we can go ahead and save that. Customize this however you want to. We can change the background of the overlay, which is this in the background if we want to change the color. Also make it a little transparent so that we could still see what's going on behind. And we could even change the close button. Customize that if we want this to be some kind of cool icon. Um, 
there's any kind of X, maybe, I mean, that's a brand icon, but uh, really you have tons of options. So you could do whatever you want, but super useful to have a pop-up to collect emails because emails are very important. So we'll go ahead and preview this one more time. I'm hoping it lets me do it because of the session. Um, and if this works, then we're good to go. Boom, just like that beautiful pop-up is done. Type in the email that you want and you are good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video and leave a like if you enjoyed. We'll catch you in the next one.